What's up everybody and welcome back to the Mr. Albert Lopez channel. My name is Albert Lopez and today we're going to be talking about a pretty cool subject which throughout my life this particular topic kind of pulled and tugged me in different directions because I didn't really know what it meant. And we're talking about the word success. What does success mean to you. Success is a word that's really kind of twisted my brain throughout the years. Sometimes success was a bad thing, sometimes success was a good thing, but probably the biggest thing that caused me an issue is when I gave control to the definition of that word to someone else. Their word of success, their definition of success was the gospel. Their definition of success was going to determine whether I was successful or not. I switched it up. I'm the one that defines success. You should be the one that defines success. Once I did that, it was a big shift. There was a big shift in what I accomplished and how fast I accomplished. And also, it was in direct proportion to my self-esteem, which my self-esteem took a big jump because I was successful despite what anybody thought. And when I mean anybody, I mean anybody. However, besides talking about success, today I also have to clean my table, my desk, my work area, my space. So I'm going to take you along with me and kind of explain to you why things are the way they are and why I need to clean them up and then we'll get into talking about the video. I'm going to knock that over. Okay, so we're going to try this new angle. We got to get this cleaned up on the for real for real. So let's see if I can kind of make this happen. For anybody out there who thinks that I set this up for this shot, you're completely and totally 100% wrong. All right, so this is what we're gonna clean up. We got a lot to work with. It's not bad, it's been worse, but it is getting a little bit, uh, I, I don't wanna make it a habit to have a dirty workspace. Not much, it's just tidying up. I have some wire cutters. Notes, paper with notes. I love notes. I take notes all day. I have these ideas sometimes and I just have to jot them down. Most of the time they're just trash. Other the times it leads up to great things. I have my keys. Why are my keys here? They were in my pocket. I didn't need them no more. I don't like walking around with stuff in my pocket. I don't even walk with my wallet in my pocket if I don't need to. I work a lot from home, so I'm able to unload everything. I usually put these in the key drawer. I'm not sure whether I put these here or my wife put these here. But they don't go here, so let's put these away. Got to write notes somehow. I have my pen. Nothing fancy. So, anyways, this doesn't go here. I got to go put this somewhere else. I just got this real cool thing about bobber in the mail. And I had to test it with this. So I got my two lav mics. I got a couple of lav mics. Oh my gosh, getting messy. Got a couple of mics. I got a cable that's going to get put away. I have my notepad. Oh, man, if you thought I loved notes. Look at I got a notepad within the notepad. That's how much I love my notes. Why do I have a hula dancer, Polynesian dancer on my desk? I bought this a long time ago, and I haven't listed it because I think it's so cool. But I think it's time for us to part pretty soon. So I'm going to put this up on the store pretty soon, which is why it's here. Last thing that I need to put away are hats. These hats also are merchandise, a Starbucks hat, and two Gay Area San Francisco Giants hat. That's what we got. That's what we're going to put away. This is what we're working with. Let's get to the next step. All right, so there we have it. All this goodiness needs to get put away. So let's get started. First thing is probably the most challenging thing is going to be the lamp because I have to take it right over here and we're going to screw it into this lamp. All right, next up, the mics. What else? Uh, simplest one, the keys. Put the keys away. 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 Whoops, can't go that way. Put the keys away. Hi, right, Put the keys away. Put the keys away. Up next, the hats. Since these hats our inventory they technically could just go right there so then they'll kind of get into the whole system of this part we're just gonna leave them there up next the notepad i really actually i am working on some that's trash so we're gonna throw that away i really am working on transferring a lot of old notes from just stuff that i had in my car that i would just jot down and putting it more into a clear format and i also have a lot of ideas that i just put down on these notes so i don't really want to put this away away because out of sight out of mind good vibes only so this is gonna go into what stays on the desktop literally the desktop not that desktop but this desktop so we're just gonna stack this up as far as notes 
and leave it there. This beautiful lady right here, we're just gonna stand her up in the corner as a reminder that the next time I do a picture taking, she's gonna be one of the first ones that goes up. Lastly, we have wire cutters. I'm sure they have another fancy name, so if I'm calling them wrong, I've always just called them wire cutters because I've cut wire with them, so I call them wire cutters. Today, I cut plastic with them, so let's put these away. Hi, Tuna. You wanna come out of my block? Yes. That's it. And done. And there you have it. My desktop is clean, which was today's goal, and it was accomplished success all right so today we're talking about success and what success means success is what it means to you i used to think i was in a place where i used to listen and find out what success was by whoever was in charge whether it was a teacher a parent any kind of an adult a boss a manager whatever person was in a higher rank than me and they were telling me what was success if you complete this task when it's complete and if it's completed to their standards then you're successful and they would determine whether the task which was connected to me which would make me feel whether i was successful or not depending on how big of a good job you got or how good of a grade that was success to me success was dictated by other people towards me. I didn't necessarily have to wait till the end of the task in order to find out whether I was successful or not. They would give me a scale on how successful you were going to be. So as I was making progress, I knew where I was going to fall. Either I'm going to be real successful or I failed right out of the gate. But I still had to complete it just to show something. But I knew that I wasn't successful because it wasn't something maybe I was interested in or I was good at or it was just difficult for me to do. So I knew that it was going to be unsuccessful, that I was not going to complete it to a high standard. Standard. So what would that do to self-esteem? Boom, it would knock it down. When I found and I was able to realize many, many, many years after that I was the one that would define success, then it was the game changer. And that's what I suggest and I inspire for you guys to do is you define success. The fact that I showed up, that was successful. The fact that you set a goal, the fact that you set the goal, that's already successful. You're successful because you set the goal. You're successful because you're because you're pursuing something that you set to get. Whether you get it or not, it doesn't matter. And I tell you what, if you don't get it and you're unsuccessful, you're shooting yourself in the foot because you're really killing your self-esteem. But if you make yourself successful just because you're trying it, just because you're going for it, your self-esteem is so high, it's going to be easier to build momentum. And even if you don't get it, you enjoyed the process. You enjoyed the process of, of trying to get it. And you knew you'd do your best. And as you were building momentum and as you were making your way towards achieving said goal, it was already feeling good. At that point, it's I'm already winning. I'm already successful. Whether I get it or not, if I don't get it this time, I'm going to get it the second time. And I'm probably going to get it even better, bigger, because I have something to reference. Because I've already went through this track once. I'm just going to go through it again, zip on by. And actually, that's not the one I really wanted. I wanted the one that's a little bit higher than that or a little bit better than that. So if you set yourself up for success being the fact that you start, the fact that you showed up, the fact that you woke up, the fact that you get to go try and get what you want to get, that is what success means to me. Enjoying the process is happiness. Enjoying the process is what builds momentum. Enjoying the process is what success. Enjoying the process is the goal, is the fun, is the meat of things. The result is just the cherry on top. And sometimes you may not get the cherry on top. And you'll just try it again and you'll get the cherry on top then. I hope this video inspired you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. I invite you, if this is the first time that you're here, to subscribe to the channel. Share this video if you think somebody out there can be inspired by it. They need to hear this. Share this video. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. Hit the like button if this is something that you like. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate it very much. Thanks very much for watching. And we'll see you in the next video. I'm out. Thank you.